Hello everyone, I hope everyone is doing well. Today I'm coming on to share a few gardening journals that I've been working on. I have been working on these journals forever and <laughs> it took me a very long time to get them done, but they are complete and so today I thought I would come on and do a flip through of each one. I've made five total and I'm gonna plan to put them in my Etsy shop tonight so I thought I would come on and make a video and do a flip through of each one. Um, I made them by using some vintage wallpaper for the covers. So the front is vintage wallpaper and then the back has like a matching pa um, cover as well. And I thought that was re really cute. And then I also did an open spine and like some lace closure, like a lace closure here. And I just thought that was just such a cute little touch. It, it kind of like makes it a little more... I don't know, casual or I don't know, it just looks so handmade and and pretty to me. I love that binding and and one day soon I am planning to make a video on how exactly I did that. It's really not that that hard. But anyways, um they got to be a little bit chunky, so I just tied them with a little bit of twine, but obviously you could take that off or, you know, put your own closure on whatever you you choose. Um, I have five total and I have two green ones, two white ones, and I also made this one which is so pretty. I love the white rose and I love this beautiful raspberry colored flower. It is so pretty. Well those are roses I guess. Um, with the lace closure and this is sorry silk on the the side binding and like I said they're pretty chunky but they're super cute so yeah so these green ones are sold and um, I will go ahead and start the flip through of this one and then we'll get started actually I'm gonna move my camera up a little bit closer so I'll be right back okay so I don't know if I said this already but the whole concept of this journal is to kind of record your gardening adventures. Um, I had made myself a journal like that and I just really like the concept of, you know, doing a page for each flower that you love or you certainly do not have to use this for gardening. You could use it for um, your personal writing, everyday journal, anything you really want if you love flowers. So, um, and if you don't garden, this is a great way to really enjoy you know, flowers and growing and everything like that. So let's go ahead and open the journal. So like I said, front and back has vintage wallpaper with the lace, the lace closure. And then you open it up and it has some beautiful um, antique rose printables that are going to be in my Etsy shop. I've also been working on some really beautiful garden printables for my Etsy to kind of coordinate with these journals. So um, tonight I should list those so you can check out my Etsy shop as well for a lot of the printables that you're going to see in these journals. Um, and then this is a little fern that I took from my garden and I made a little tag out of it and it is super cute and it has the word garden right there. And I love this little this little fairy girl she is just so adorable she's riding on her butterfly and she's kind of like the the little mascot of these garden journals so then you flip it for that page and then there's some French script paper and then this pretty garden lady and some flower seed ephemera and then this is um, a little belly band slash like pocket but you can put something all the way through and um, this was actually like a tutorial from Amity Bloom that I followed and I love 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 that and then this is some beautiful paper that I um, tea dyed little bird because birds are in the garden you know oh geez I got it stuck already. Okay, and then this page has a little pocket here with some ephemera 
some a sweet little butterfly tag and then I did some little ruffles here and some dotted Swiss along the bottom of that pocket and then this is another beautiful printable that will be in my Etsy shop it's like all these antique rose flower magazine book pages they're so beautiful and then this fabric is 1940s it's so cute it has little polka dots and then just some ephemera inside a vintage postcard here um, and some other ephemera gardening related and then turn the page and then this is a little seed order catalog page some vintage gardening book pages a little envelope that I stamped that little birdie on and you could put your little treasures inside or even some little seeds would be really cute this is also a beautiful printable that will be in my Etsy and then this is a little bag that I put a package of seeds inside every journal has this um, these are morning glory seeds it says from Heather's garden they'll get to be 10 feet full Sun the date that I put the seeds in was May of 2020 so everybody will get some little gardening seeds from my garden to yours and then this is a beautiful Edith Holden book page love love those and then this is a little um, clip that I made out of some vintage millinery flowers some lace at the bottom it's a beautiful envelope that my mom actually embossed and gave me so I put it in there with a little bit of washi tape to hold it and this is a pocket here that you can use and then this is a cute little there's just like a cute little notebook that I made out of ledger vintage ledger paper and it goes right in that tag and some little butterflies that I stamped I did some modeling paste there this is a dotted Swiss flip up which everybody loves the dotted Swiss and then this is some vintage trim that I made a pocket out of and then I created these um, in Photoshop by making journaling cards out of some again some um, gardening old gardening magazine illustrations so one says perennials one says annuals and one says vegetables and I thought that you could keep track of whatever it is that you're planting in your garden I really love those and then some dot a little dotted Swiss bow and then this is the center which is also a printable in my Etsy shop these are some gorgeous roses um, rose paintings from the 1800s just beautiful and I printed this on tea stained paper so um, it just looks so pretty on the tea stained paper so you can check out my Etsy if you if you like every journal has a different rose as the center so you'll see as I flip through and then this I made a little um, a little dangle there and then this is a little tuck spot this is a little flower that I pressed onto the paper made a little tag there and then some vintage ephemera there this is some pretty bird ephemera and then a little postcard um, journaling card that I made put some little ruffles here and then um, whoops this page is a tag here butterfly tag beautiful yellow rose and then I stamped on some um, fabric sing and then this is also a pocket here and then this is the other side of the Edith Holden book book page and then this right here is a pocket that I made like that you can put whatever in there and then inside here is a beautiful little I hope you can see it it's very faint but it is a printable of a little girl 
pencil drawing and she's in her garden and she's holding her little basket here and she is adorable I hope you can see that but um, yeah that's in there and then this is my favorite vintage wallpaper so I put I put this in a few of the journals. I don't think I put it in every one of them, but it's this is a printable that you can also find in my Etsy shop, but this is my very favorite pattern of vintage wallpaper, so it's kind of like I just wanted to include that for you because it was just sort of sentimental to me. And these are some vintage music pages, some vintage gardening book pages, tea stain paper, more gardening pages. This is a printable. Um, and then this little pocket says there was a flower in her heart. And that is a little sentiment from Am Amity Bloom. And I'll link her shop down below where you could get those sentiments. They're so sweet. And then for every journal, I made one of these little books. Um, it's tied with some sorry, sorry. And then you just take it off um, and then it's like a little order sheet flower and vegetable seeds and on the front and the back and then I stamped a little peony right there because that is my favorite flower and then you open it up and then you can document like your flower seeds or anything you want related to your garden and then vegetable seeds and then the middle has a little belly band with a tag that says flower and a little bird inside so and then some cute little pom-pom trim and so you can keep track of your little flowers or you could go out in your yard with your little book and write down whatever you need to bring back to your journal I think it's so cute this kind of makes the journal extra um, chunky so if you feel like your journals just a little bit too too puffy you could take this out and um, keep it separate but for now I have to leave it in the pocket because it's so cute and then this is a beautiful gardening calendar that you can fill out keep track of whatever you would like to plant and then this is the back of that beautiful green paper the French script a little bit of wallpaper there and then this is some vintage wallpaper as a belly band and then this is also some gardening, vintage gardening book page on the back. And that is that sweet little journal. So what I thought I would do, because they're all very similar, I was thinking that I would stop talking and I'll just um, kind of go through the rest of the journals quickly. And then you will get a good idea. They're, they're not all exact, but they're very similar. So... Um, I want to thank you so much for watching and I hope that you'll check out my Etsy shop if you are loving these journals and also um, there will be a lot of printables that are garden related that I'm putting into my Etsy which I might do another video tomorrow or the next day about those because they are just so pretty and a lot to talk about with those. So thank you so much for watching and I'm gonna go ahead and stop talking and just flip through the rest of them.